Hi, Ken Roberts here. Uh, I'm here with another brief idea on how to build and live a life that counts. Let me tell you what that is. Perseverance. In case you're wondering what the painting's here for, uh, my wife, Missy, uh, she paints. She does pet portraits and other things, and this is one that she's done here, actually. And uh, when Missy starts uh, on a project, there are two significant times during the project that really can hold her back. And the one, the first one is actually starting. And I think all of us have been that way, you know, where we have a project, we want to build a life that counts, we want to do something, we want to make a plan. But sometimes just getting started uh, is extremely hard. During that time, she tells me that, you know, uh, she thinks she can't do it, she shouldn't start. What if it doesn't turn out the way she wants it to? Will she have the time to get it finished on time? So really, starting is the most critical time in doing the project. And then the second was halfway through. Uh, I also have had a chance to do some writing so I can relate with this. She says halfway through, she'll look at the photo and she'll picture it. She'll just say, you know what, this is no good. This is terrible. I'm going to stop right now. I can't finish this. Nobody wants to see this. And I really find the same thing really in writing. You'll get halfway through a chapter and you'll think, this, is, this stinks. Let's just forget this. I'm going to stop right here. But the critical point for any of us, if we're going to build and live a life that counts, is really perseverance is to continue to move on step by step, day by day, really toward the direction and toward the goal that we have in our life. Let me tell you a real quick story. Her name was Felicity Aston, and she was only 33 years of age. She was dropped off in Antarctica, this was only a couple of years ago, and it was her goal to be the first solo person to ski across Antarctica. She went through all types of difficulties, you know, blizzards, she got sick, she was sore, loneliness, uh, she was disoriented, but she continued to go. And it took her, guess how long? 59 days, but she went 1,084 miles by herself across Antarctica. And she was asked how she did it, and I think her answer is profound. She said, step by step and day by day. To build a life that counts and to live a life that you desire, it takes perseverance. If I can help you, there's two ways I can do that. You'll find links below. One is a little ebook, about 13 pages, that I wrote called Five Steps to Building a Life That Counts. Simply hit that, get that free ebook. And the second one is a link to a free coaching consultation with me. If I can help you to be in the right direction, encourage you, help you with a plan, really to build a life that counts, I want to do that. Let's do it together. Thanks for watching this video.